In the age of social media, all it takes nowadays to spark up an online fight is to merely have an opinion. One opinion will cause many to spiral into a pit hole of anger where no one dialogues only insults the person who has the unpopular or even the popular opinion regarding the latest trends in comic books, movies, or pop culture. It makes sense given the circumstance. After all, acting tough behind the protective wall of the black mirror we all own and use on a daily basis makes it easy for anyone to jump right into a tirade of insults and threats. Again, just for having an opinion that they may disagree with. I decided to go against that notion. I have decided to start a video series where we discuss the hot topic issues within the comic book industry and pop culture and provide you with another perspective. One of logic, reason, with just plain old dialogue between two people who have differing opinions. My co-host and I will discuss the pop culture topics at hand in a fun, engaging, and respectable manner. So, without further ado, let's talk about it. Hi everyone, this is Julius Freeman. It's been a while, a long while since my last upload. I took a hiatus off of YouTube because of a lot of things that I won't get into today. But um, part of the reason why I took a hiatus is because I wanted to kind of figure out what I, what content I wanted to create for this channel. And I done a lot of research. I watched a whole lot of other videos and uh, subscribed to a whole bunch of channels, kind of studied the landscape to see what's out there. And I think I finally, no, not, I don't think I finally did it. I finally figured out what my channel should be about. It should be about comic books. It should be about indie comics, mainstream comics, whatever the case may be. I just decided it should be about comics. And it should be about culture, movies, TV shows. And it's not your typical hate grift channel like most channels out there. This is going to be a very constructive uh, kind of show. This this new show that I that I've uh, that you're watching now is called Let's Talk About It. And um, I'm not going to do it by myself because I feel like talking by myself about my thoughts is kind of boring. That's just my opinion. Uh, that's not really something that uh, uh, it's not a knock on anyone who anyone else who's who's doing it currently in the YouTube sphere. I just work better with another person. I've been in search of a co-host for a while because I need you know a good every host has a good co-host. So I was like, who who could be my Ed McMahon to my Johnny Carson? And finally, I found a guy who's worthy of being co-host of this show. He's a bigger comic book nerd than me, uh, if you can believe that. Please welcome my co-host, who is just simply known as Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kyle, my how chair, you doing? Just Kyle, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was as I was saying in the introduction, you know, uh, we've met uh, a few months back uh, at our at our day job. And as we got to know each other, we discovered that we both love comic books. And come to my surprise, you're just as big as big as a comic book reader as as me, which is perfect because that's exactly who I was looking for as a co-host. So introduce yourself to the audience out there. Who are you? What are you all about? And what are you going to bring into the show? I wouldn't say I'm much more of a uh, comic book nerd than he is. Uh, that's sort of the dynamic that we're sort of going with because he's the uh, old timer, a lot more experience, knows the everything hair. about comics. Yes, I mean, it's, <laughs> but it's a tasteful though. It's like Doctor Strange type tasteful. Ah, thank you, thank you. I appreciate yes, that. It's wise. It's not old. It's wise. <laughs> I'll accept that. Um, I'll accept that. And so basically what I'm to bring to the table is I've really only been collecting comics this last, you know, for the past year. I dive really deep into hobbies, as you can tell by all my stuff that's behind me. Uh, I collected Legos for a long time. Uh, I still kind of do, but I like to go into different 
you know, collectibles. And one of the things that sort of struck me that I never thought of collecting until just recently was comic books. And what got me into it was, you know, I've always watched the movies. I always watched the Marvel movies, DC movies. And it got to the point where I just kind of wanted more. I just wanted to see what else is out there. And I'm like, well, I mean, these things are based off of comic books to begin with. So why don't I just start reading those? And so I started reading a few trade paperbacks, got more into it. And then I'm like, I picked a favorite character that I liked, which is Green Lantern. And I've ended up just going to comic book shops. And the comic book community has just been so welcoming and so helpful. Uh, just this past year, I've gotten so many comic books. I've met so many people. He sure has. <laughs> and it's it's just been a blast. I've been having so much fun learning this whole new world of comic books. And so that's going to be my perspective of things is I'm going to see all these comic books, both, you know, all the way back from, you know, Golden Age, Silver Age to today from new fresh eyes while still uh, giving credit to great artists, great writers, and calling out stuff that, you know, just doesn't seem like it's worth it, or maybe things that, you know, is maybe overhyped. But that's basically what I'm going to be bringing to the table and hope, you know, my opinion <laughs> matters. You know, you did what Hollywood failed to do, which is bring in a new reader. You chose yourself to go into a comic shop and and buy the books and read them and get into them, and which is great. It's going to be a, a fun and a, bl a blast to hear your perspective on the comic issues that come out weekly, which is what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to talk about comics. That's what the show is pretty much about. Let's talk about it. And the topics will range. It won't just be purely about comics. It'll be about movies. It could be about uh, uh, TV shows, but also cultural topics, topical issues. Like one example would be, does a, a writer and artist deserve equal credit when they pro both produce a comic book? Or does Hollywood help the comic book industry or harm the comic book industry? There's so many different things that comic books influences and vice versa, things that influence comics. And so right. we're going to try to talk about it from a very, you know, tactful way, not just spreading hate monger, not just going around saying, oh, well, this book sucks because X, Y, Z, or this book sucks because this right. you know, something else. We're actually going to dive deep into things. We're going to talk about about the you know medium, the comics, the, the writers, the artists, who deserves credit, who doesn't, different things in pop culture. Like one of the topics that we have lined up is you know, like Pokemon, should that be a comic book? Uh, you know, right. things like yeah. that. <laughs> Different things like that. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, why haven't they done that? Or why should they do that or not do that? So we're just going to be giving different perspectives, our different perspectives. We always don't agree on everything. Yeah, that's right. very apparent as right. we just normally <laughs> talk to, you know, <laughs> in our normal work lives uh, about this stuff. Yeah, we, uh, we yeah. have some differentiating opinions. A lot of these uh, topics that we we have uh, compiled, um, some are heavy, some are, are lighthearted. A as you, I'm sure, all are aware, the comic book industry has been in dire straits it's manga has been really dominating the mark, the sales of, of the, you know, over the, the American mainstream comics. Indie is flourishing. There's a lot of indie books coming up that are, uh, you know, making waves and splashes. So we're going to discover, we're not discover, we're going to explore all those avenues uh, when it comes to discussing topics on this show. And we're not going to shy away from anything regarding the comic book industry because it's part of the culture, right? Even if if uh, there's tribes in the in the modern landscape of the comic book culture, it's still we're still under the one umbrella, which is comic books. We're all doing what we all love, and that's making comics or reading comics or collecting comics. Hopefully, we can uh, find a, an audience that will, you know, sit down and listen and interact with us you know we we highly encourage you guys to leave comments we highly encourage you guys to subscribe leave a, a thumbs up even the thumbs down even if you don't like what we talk about mm -hmm. just let us know what is it that you guys want us to talk about if you like the topics we're talking about uh please don't hesitate don't be shy to leave a comment let us know hey this episode sucked the topic was boring or hey this episode is really good i i would like you guys to elaborate more on this topic the more you can interact with us, the better we can gauge what you guys are looking for, what you guys are hungry for, and shift around depending on 
what you guys are are uh, are seeking when it comes to content. I, I just want to add one more thing. It's like you know, just be you know, we want to. This is sort of like a give back to the community because yeah, like, guys, yeah. as me who has just now started getting into comics and everybody being so welcoming and you know, I never realized that you know, I always you know, it's always the stigma of like oh, comic book nerds. They're just you know. Yeah. Bad guys that live in basements and you know, <laughs> right, are yeah. angry at everything. It's like, no, yeah. that's not actually how comic book readers are. It's a wide variety, the same as any other collect you know, collection or you know fan base or whatever. So I want to. Well, this is a way for us to give back and to give good discussions. That's not just the typical run of the mill headlines that you see everywhere. Right, and and on occasion we will discuss a major headline. Yeah, I mean that's just the nature of the beast. But um, last, before we go, before we go for this, uh, you know, to wrap up this introductory episode, uh, I just want to note that Kyle here, he goes to to his local shop on Wednesdays to pick up his books, and that's it. He knows nothing about the writers, who the super, you know, the, the quote unquote name writers or name artists. Just just recently, recently he discovered Alex Ross, mm -hmm. so he had no idea who Alex Ross was up until. Well, I would say what three weeks ago? Two yeah, weeks something ago? like that. Something and then like that, just, right? Like, I went, you know, like a complete like 180, like sort of thing. Like I saw his stuff, and it's just like immediately have to collect everything, just because yeah. I just loved it so much, and I just wanted to learn more. But like, uh, you know, he was saying, I just go to the comic book store, I go and I look at all what's new of the week, and I see that looks interesting. I open it up, I flip through it, yeah, that looks like a good read, and I buy it, and I go home and I read it, and I'm like. Eh, it was okay. Yeah. Um, or like, that's great. I'm going to go back next week and pull the whole series. Very refreshing. I, I'm very envious of you, Kyle, that you have this like childlike, you know, innocence in, the, in a lot of ways when you go into the shops. Uh, I don't have that anymore. I'm already a cynical old man, or as you say, a wise, <laughs> wise. old man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I, 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 I am a lot more pickier when it comes to uh, new comic books, but you, you're open you're ready to embrace the the culture. You're ready to embrace comic book storytelling. And that's great. That that's that's what's needed. We need new readers to keep this industry going. And it's great that um, hope you know for everyone watching, anyone watching, uh, hopefully you you can gain something from an old school guy like myself and a new school guy like Kyle, who actually likes a lot of the books that more than likely I probably won't like. Uh, we already already at bumpy heads with the prequels of star wars but that's another topic for another <laughs> that's, day that's, that's that's a whole other thing <laughs> yeah it's a whole other thing but whole hopefully down thing. the line we'll, we'll talk about that but for now yeah. this show is called let's talk about it we're not we're not going to be afraid to talk about any kind of topic any kind of discussion any kind of whatever um that's what this show is going to be about that's what you're going to get every week hopefully this episode in, entices you to subscribe to the channel and uh Hit, hit the notification bell and leave a comment and come back next week weekly weekly we're going to release new episodes and each episode will be a different topic depending on how complex or or uh, the the sheer amount of information that's uh attached to the topic that we're going to be discussing the episode may be split into two um it won't go any longer than half hour so each episode will be 30 minutes or less. So every week, I haven't decided on the day yet, but uh, if I, once we do decide on the date of release, I will tweet it out. I will, you know, make sure to, uh, to uh, announce it on the description below. Uh, with that said, is there anything last, last thing you want to say, Kyle, before we give our goodbyes and we start the, this new journey of the old school meeting the new school? I just say, I think this is just us for having, fun you know we're here to have fun right. we're here to just have a good environment to talk about comic books and i just think i'm really looking forward to this all right and well that said guys thank you for watching this first episode hopefully you guys come back for next week where we discuss writer artist teams who should get credit is a picture worth a thousand words or is the thousand words be worth the pictures i think i just Screw that up. You butchered that so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I did, did it not? <laughs> I was the one who wrote it. But you know no. what, Kyle? Uh, you would you like to say, it, Kyle? Let's let's, yes, let's have you say it. <laughs> so, is a picture worth a thousand words, or is the thousand words worth the picture? That's why I needed a co-host. I needed someone to make me, you know, to save me when I when I make myself look like a fool.
So, well, which is often. <laughs> yeah, which is often, which is quite often. No, it, it really, no, yeah. that's the truth. It's quite often. So uh, with that said, come, you know, join us next week for that topic as we discuss who gets credit, artist, writer, do you get, is it 50-50? Is it more than the other? Let's find out. Let's talk about it talk about next it. week. All right. See ya.